Hey, what is up gamers? Enforcer5150 here, and you wouldn't know it, but I am actually using NVIDIA Broadcast right now on the screen and actually getting the 94 frames per second, 93. Um, now, they seem to have finally fixed NVIDIA Broadcast. Now, I'm not going directly through the computer. I'm going through a capture card so we can take a quick look at this. This video should be pretty quick. I just want to show everybody because I did do a video recently on uh, NVIDIA Broadcast 2.0, which completely was tanking our FPS by like 10 to 15 frames per second just with NVIDIA Broadcast itself. And now we are getting, uh, you know, normal FPS. Now this is the last video I did. Um, as you can see right here, we were getting 83 frames per second when we enabled it. And you can just here. see who we have here. 83 frames per, frames this is, per second. Uh, now, well, you, I Oh, oh man, I was having so much problems 91. with having uh, NVIDIA broadcast up. I had to make a video on it when they came out with this new one. And as you can see, when we uh, went ahead and installed the old version, let me go over to here. So we go over to here, and this is with the NVIDIA broadcast 1.4 that I was telling you to go ahead and install. And um, as we have it, and we were having our, our 93, 94 93. frames per second. And as you can see here, we do have broadcast running. I'll go ahead and show you here. Broadcast, this is the new version running. Everything is looking good. I am really happy that they did this. And I'll go ahead and uh, disable, or I'll just exit it. Exit broadcast. And you can see we're barely losing any. We lose maybe a frame per second. Like we're getting 96 right here. We're getting the, some good FPS in the uh, in the deck today. But yeah, uh, I just wanted to do a quick video here because when we're using broadcast and you're using that much GPU, now they have a new studio mode. All right, so I wanted to bring up uh, the video, uh, it, or not the video, the broadcast. This is high GPU load. It's saying that I basically I have a game running right now, so it's you know doing a little bit of extra work and it might tank our fps a little bit but like you can see we're going 94 95 we're still good now they have this new uh, voice uh studio mode now this says require high-end gpu not recommended to use with games or gpu intensive apps so like if you're using a capture card like something like that and you're doing your recording and you have a pretty you know decent recording system you should be able to go ahead and enable this uh this voice mode and if we turn that on you'll see that our FPS will definitely definitely tank bad on a 60 now this is like as they said not intended for while you're actually gaming so that is good basically before it didn't matter if you had that on or not you if you turned on uh, broadcast at all it just had it running even if you had the noise reduction off it would still tank your FPS really bad so we definitely wanted to uh, enable the old or install the old version the 1.4 version which was uh, you know all right it was still doing better and we didn't get you know the tanked FPS but on when you're recording on a different computer you usually don't have to worry about it as much but you're still using a lot of resources especially if you're using your gpu for recording like i do with the uh capture card i'm still using mv ink so that we can you know you know get h265 even if you're using h264 um, you're still using that graphics card and any you know processing or gpu processing that's getting used up by nvidia broadcast is going to you know affect your recording abilities on how how high you can actually Actually, you know record what the quality is that you can record and you know may it cause issues with your recording itself or if you're streaming you know similar situation you know you're not going to be able to stream as well if it's tanking your FPS that much so having this new broadcast definitely definitely uh, makes it worthwhile to go ahead and put in a new one now I do also want to mention that the broadcast before was not actually working very well um, it would, you know, bring up, it would take in different sounds that it was supposed to be taking out and it just wasn't working like broadcast was supposed to. Now this one, I am on a capture card, like I said, and we're using the new, um, broadcast on the new computer. So it should sound a lot better. So hopefully 
this will actually you know fix it all for you like i said quick video today i hope you guys uh that you know watched the last video see see this one and you're able to go ahead and install the new version of broadcast because it is pretty good it's just it was tanking the fps before anyway that's all we're gonna do for this video today make sure you hit that like button definitely subscribe if you're new to the channel y'all take care and happy gaming